Sa video pong ito ay ating tatalakayin kung paano gamitin ng GEMDAS o PEMDAS in performing series of more than two operations on whole numbers. Ang PEMDAS o GEMDAS ay isang acronym na binubuo ng mga salitang parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction sa PEMDAS at groupings, exponent, multiplication, division, addition at subtraction para naman sa GEMDAS. Gagamitin nyo po ang GEMDAS as guide kung ano ang uunahin nating isolve in a series of operations. Ito po ang ating magiging gabay para makuha ang tamang sagot. Rules on order of operations under PEMDAS of GEMDAS. Rule number one. Uunahin po nating isolve ang mga operations na napapaloob sa parenthesis. So in expressions with nested parenthesis, begin with the innermost pair moving upward. So, para sa mga expressions, kagaya po nito, may bracket siya, may parenthesis, uunahin po natin yung pinaka nasa loob. Example, so we have 5 plus 3, then napapaloob sa bracket ang 33 minus quantity 5 times 6. So, uunahin po natin ang 5 times 6. May 30 po tayo. Then, isisolve po natin 33 minus 30. Then, sa so makikita nyo, parang wala pong operations ang 3 at 3. So, kung may nakita po kayong ganito, this is multiplication. So, that is 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, we solve 5 plus 9. So, we have 14. Rule number 2. Susunod po natin hahanapin yung mga exponent. So, solve po natin ang exponent bago po tayo mag-multiply, divide, add, at subtract. Example. So, sa problem na given natin, uunahin po natin isolve si 6 squared. Bago po tayo mag-multiply at mag-add. Rule number 3. Susunod naman natin ang multiplication or division. Pagkatandaan po, hindi po ibig sabihin ay uunahin natin talaga ang multiplication kesa division from left to right po ito. So kung sino maunang nakita natin, either multiplication or division, siya po ang uunahin nating i-solve. Example ito, 10 times 3 divided by 6. Since nauna po si 10 times 3, solve po muna natin si 10 times 3 bago tayo mag-divide. In another example, nauna naman po si 12 divided by, nauna po yung division kaysa multiplication. So, isosolve po muna natin yung division bago tayo mag-multiply. Next po, isosolve natin ang addition at subtraction. Kagaya po kanina, ay, hindi po kailang unahin natin yung addition kaysa sa subtraction. Pwede pong mauna si subtraction kaysa ni addition. So, depende po yan kung ano ang given problem natin. Example, o sa given na ito, nauuna po si addition, so isolve po muna natin si addition bago si subtraction. Pero sa susunod na example, nauna naman si subtraction. So, uunahin natin ang 15 minus 4 bago po tayo mag-add. Aki pong uulitin, hindi po ibig sabihin ng PEMDAS ay uunahin po natin ang multiplication kaysa division or uunahin po natin si addition kaysa mag-subtract po tayo. Problem number 1. Susubukan po natin isolve ang problem na ito. So, 6 plus 24 divided by 4 times 3 minus 6. una po natin gagawin is apply po natin yung rule number 2 by dividing 24 by 4. So, meron po tayong 6. So, meron na 6 plus 6 times 3 minus 6. Next, multiply natin si 6 at 3. Meron po tayong 18. So, 6 plus 18 minus 6. Then, from left to right, Add muna natin si 6 plus 
Then, subtract po natin sa 6. So, final answer natin ay 18. Problem number 2. Apply muna natin si rule number 1. So, may parenthesis po. So, we have 4 times 3. We have 12. So, 5 plus 24 divided by 12 minus 6. Next po is rule number 2. Hanapin po natin ang multiplication or division. So, we have 24 divided by 12. Then, since addition at subtraction na lang po ang natitira, so, nahin po natin sa addition since since yan po yung unang nakikita so we add 5 and 2 then we subtract that 1 to 6 and we have 7 minus 6 and the answer is 1 ito po ang ibang pamamaraan ng pag-solve so una po magkahanap tayo ng parenthesis so magkikita niyo may operation tayo nested in parenthesis my bracket, my parenthesis. So, uunahin po natin ito. So, 6 divided by 3. Then, we have uh, quantity 2 plus 3. Uunahin po natin si 2 plus 3. Mapapansin nyo po, ang parenthesis ay mag alter ng ating sequence. Uh, hindi po ibig sabihin na kailangan lang talagang uh, unahin natin si multiplication. Since napapaloob po siya sa parenthesis ang 2 plus 3, at siya ang nasa pinakaloob-looban, siya po ang uunahin nating isolve. So, unahin po natin si 2 plus 3, and that is 5. Next is, we try to solve 6 divided by 3 times 5. So, wala po kayong nakikitang symbol ng operation, but ang ibig sabihin po niyan ay 3 times 5. So, makakakita po kayo, ganitong arrangement, wala pong operation pero may open close parenthesis po tayo that is multiplication so since ang napapaloob po sa ating parenthesis uh, sa ating brackets po ay division and multiplication at nasa left side po natin si division uunahin po natin si division kaysa ni multiplication so that is 6 divided by 3 and the answer is 2 then we multiply that 1 to 5 and the answer is 10. Next, so wala na po tayong parenthesis na makikita. Susunod po ay hahanapin naman natin si exponent. Kung meron pong exponent at sa problem po natin ito, may exponent po tayong makikita. So that is 4 to the power of 2. That is 4 to the power of 2. That is 16. Next is kahanap po tayo ng multiplication or at division. So we have 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. And the last one, magkahanap tayo ng addition at subtraction. So 16 plus 5 and that is 21. Problem number 4. 3 plus 27 divided by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied to quantity 5 minus 3 minus 2. Unahin po natin si parenthesis. So, we have 5 minus 3 and the answer is 2. Next is maghahanap po tayo ng exponent. We have 3 to the power of 2. Paano po ba natin isasolve ang exponent? So, kung may makikita tayong to the power of 2, meaning po yan, multiply po natin ang ating number uh, 2 times. So, that is 3 times 3. So, 3 to the power of 2. That is 9. Next, maghahanap po tayo ng multiplication or division. So, sa case po natin, nauna po si division bago si multiplication. So, that is 27 divided by 9. We have 3. Then, we multiply that 1 to 2. We have 6. Next, addition at subtraction. So, from left to right po, that is 3 plus 6, which is 9. Minus 2, and we have 7 as the final answer. Problem number 5. 2 times 8 minus quantity 20 divided by 4 plus 
2. First one, kahanap po tayo ng parenthesis. We have 20 divided by 4. So, 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. Next, we try to look at the exponent. Wala po tayong makikita ang exponent. So, proceed po tayo sa multiplication or division. So, we have multiplication, 2 times 8. So, 2 times 8, that is equal to 16 minus 5 plus 2. Then, we proceed po sa addition at subtraction. Uh, from left to right, 16 minus 5 plus 2. That is 16 minus 5 is 11. Add po natin sa 2. Final answer is 13. Okay, try nyo po ang mga problem na ito at i-check nyo po kung tama po ang pagkakasolve nyo. So, good luck and thank you for watching.